The first thing I looked at today was the sky. I was searching for how anybody could consider something so bright, something so big, and something so vast to limit. How somebody could hypnotize us into seeing and believing in our hearts that the sky is the limit. I know that God could never keep the sky above us if it were the limit. How could the very same sky that gives us rain hosts the sun, the moon, and the stars limit us? We limit ourselves. We focus on the land that we walk on and forget that we've got wings to fly wherever our minds could lead us. We despise the soil which bore us and weaken our souls. We forget the blood sweat and tears that our forefathers poured into who we are. We, our ancestors' wildest dreams, were their sincerest prayers, their loudest cries, were the first fruit of their rebellion. We are the sweetest sounds of their pain and their humiliation, intertwined, tied and engraved into the tree of life. We, are they first fruit? Were they last fruit? Were they good fruit? Were they bad fruit? We are the Eve fruit. Were they Adam fruit? Were they freedom? Were the fruit of their labor? How could the sky limit us? What's true is that every step you take takes you closer to your destiny and that every road you find yourself on no matter how windy no matter how straight no matter how narrow no matter how wide is leading you to your future and even if you have the grace to know what your future holds, even if you know how big or how small or how long you will last in your future, you have to stop along the way and take it all in. The sky is not the limit. Your heart is. Your memories are. And your fear is. <laughs>